Hello there, person. Let's check out what's new with Wraith Binder. This has been quite, uh, quite a week. Wow, some really, really fun stuff added. Let's take, let's go ahead and take a look at what's new here. I got my PlayStation Five controller here. Um, this is kind of a neat thing, actually. PlayStation Five controller can can uh, do Bluetooth on uh, Mac, which is pretty sweet. Um, the PS4 controller could. Oh, stole this guy's Switch. So the biggest thing this week is a Skybot. This is so, so sweet. I can build stuff with the Skybot a lot more, a lot more intuitively than, than we used to. Let's get rid of this guy for a second here, but um, boom. Let's build a block. Yes, Jib is back. Jib has a responsibility. Jib builds stuff now, your Skybot. So you start off with no Skybot, but as soon as you get the Skybot ability, I just manually chose to upgrade to the Skybot ability right there. Um, I can build buildings, and um, you start off with level one of the Skybot. Every one of your abilities starts off with one pip, and you can get up to three pips. And those are indicated by these little uh, white squares underneath the um, icon for the ability on the left side of the screen there. So on the left side of the screen, we've got my uh, fist punch ability there with X, and the um, and the Skybot ability with uh, right button. So, let's just get that one there, boom. Um, yeah, so we can build these bridges. This is pretty neat, right? You can build bridges around here. The bots can't can't build stuff yet, so that's kind of needs to be improved next week. Uh, but as a human player, I can go and intelligently create buildings. Um, I was just creating some blocks there a second ago. Let's go create some more blocks. Like I could block off this whole um, pathway into my base right here, so none of these little creeps can get me. Or, here's a kind of a cool strategy I've, I found recently, I'm like, oh, I can block off my mem my menders. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of mana. No, I just couldn't build there. Okay, there we go. I thought I was out of mana. Um, right? You can block off, block things off, you can totally change the way the whole map plays out by, uh, by building these blocks. And then when you get to, so, um... It enables more types of buildings whenever you get the next level of uh, of the ability. So when I get a, a Skybot ability level 2, I can go and build mines and wards. <laughs> and mines are so fun. There's like one of my favorite things to build because they're sneaky and they explode and they're fun and all that. Um, we've got these teleports in the corners now. This was I covered la in last week's video. Oh, and the bow is a lot more intelligent now. So yeah, let's go ahead and make sure we get the bow. Oh, this guy's... What are you just sitting there for? This AI is dumb. That was a cheap move right there. I just killed that bot while he was dumb. I need to work on the bots a lot more because there's so many new, new uh, features that the bots really need to be able to use. So the improvement to the bow is that it target locks a lot like the um, uh, the telekinesis does, which um, which basically just means that um, when you hold down the bow button and you've target locked onto someone, you can move your character around. You can totally change all your placement in the world without losing that target lock. So it really stays locked on a lot better now. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, it looks like I'm I've hit. Somebody has leveled up right here and smashed these block these uh, um, stairs to the point where I can't even go up them. Um, but look, oh yeah, here's another new thing too: the bossifier. Oh, can we build? Oh, we need one more level. I want to be able to build. Um, I want to be able to build mines. But uh, check it out, the bossifier now has some art. So here in the middle of the of the map, we've got this bossifier thing. And if I hold down the button, I can become a boss. But it's got this cool new statue next to it. So it actually kind of looks like what it is. It's the bossifier. It turns you into a boss. And it kind of looks like a big boss. And you are a boss when you're freaking swinging your sword and doing twice the damage. Oh, here we go. Boom. Skybot level two. So now we can build mines, which are hella fun. I just love having Jib be able to build these buildings. He's just, it's like, it's like Jib's back. You know what I mean? From Songbringer. I've, you know, I've always had the plan of, of making Jib build these buildings. 
But now that he's actually physically doing the animation of building these buildings, it is just so... It adds so much character to, uh, to him. And it's really cool because he can be responsible for building buildings while you're doing attacks and stuff like that. So I can go ahead and place a mine down and wait for him to go build while I go run around and do other stuff. If I can get the build off. Sometimes uh, an enemy will go and attack you while you're building. And um, and that will break your build. You can't... You can't... Uh, you have to be able... You have to you know, have an uninterrupted second or two there to be, to be able to press the buttons to do that. Boom! Yeah, and that is the win right there. Sweet. So, um... Still have an issue here with this screen right here. I haven't actually worked on this screen yet, but it should be tallying up the kills. But at least it works. So if I go and press a button now, it'll actually reset the map. And before it wasn't working. So, so yeah, that's it. That's pretty much the the um, the cool new stuff. I love these buildings. It's so fun. Oh, where'd my skybot go? <laughs> okay, resetting the map broke the skybot. But um, but there you have it. That's the new stuff with Wraithbinder. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you next week with another one.